All right, it's time for a little comparison video between Sluter Ditra and some cement board. First up, the Sluter Ditra. Pros and cons. The pros start with it's easy to cut. It's also easy to work with because it's not stiff and it's easy to move around bends and cut around obstructions like vents and toilet flanges. It's only an eighth inch thick, which means it's not gonna raise your floor too much if you wanna bump it up to some hardwood or some vinyl plank. Also, it's not messy and it makes for a very quick install. This material is said to help protect the entire tile job so it doesn't transfer any movement from the subfloor to the tile, causing it to crack. In my eyes, the price is the only con in this whole damn situation. Now on to cement board. First up, the cement board is much, much cheaper, which is always good if you're tight on a budget. If you don't have a special tool, this is a really hard material to cut because you got to score it a million times and then you finally snap it over. I don't know about you. That's just a pain in the ass. You could do it, but why? When you have power tools. The only problem is when you use power tools, you'll be expecting lots of dust in your face. So you're going to have to mask up and make sure you don't eat all that cement. Obviously, this stuff is not bendable, but whenever you move it, it always feels like it's gonna break in half. So in my opinion, I just think it's harder to work with than Sluter. Also, remember guys, this is my opinion. You might have a difference of opinion, but this is mine, so sorry if I disagree. I just am right and you're wrong. Just kidding, but it is my opinion. And on top of everything else, once you get all the flooring in, you're also gonna have to add screws to this after you put it on top of the thin set. In comparison with Sluter, you're just done at that point. So basically, at the end of the day, it's just cheaper. So basically, Sluter's better. 